Starbucks here in Georgetown. We're having a visionary meeting this morning. Uh, what's a visionary meeting? Well, basically it's just three kind of three guys hanging out, having some coffee, talking about business, life, and just visions in general, whether it be uh, spiritually, mentally, business-wise, anything. We just throw ideas at each other to see what each other think about it. Uh, what we could do better with what we're doing that specific week. Also just talk about what's going on that week, if we have any struggles that week, just to help get our visions clear and get a clear vision for the future. That way we can excel in the future. There's this saying that you should surround yourself with the people that you wanna be like. And these guys are amazing business-minded people. And Andy is very creative. He owns his own production company, uh, Small Pond Productions. He does a great job with it. His work is amazing. And then Jose, Jose is awesome. He's a great guy. He does uh, on air for Maxima, a local Hispanic channel. It's all it's all Hispanic. And then also he owns a, a real, uh, real estate company, uh, Linda Vista, I believe it is. I'm sorry if I, I screwed that up, but yeah, he owns that. And he's starting this new thing called I Am Sussex, just to talk about people who are basically live and breathe Sussex County here in Delaware. So. It's gonna go have that meeting and uh, grab some coffee because I am absolutely cold and I need some coffee right now. So I had planned to get a few more shots of us talking at the visionary group this morning at Starbucks, uh, but we had a new, new guy join us. If you didn't see the guy who joined us, I believe his name was Keith. I really hope it's Keith because I'm sorry. I, I really can't remember my. Uh, uh, after two times, it takes two times to remember your name. But next week we have another meeting on Tuesday. It's, uh, it's absolutely amazing. I love talking with these guys, getting ideas and. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Keith. I really hope it's your name. It, but the guy I'm referring to, the guy you saw, uh, he's a writer. He wrote a, a children's book and he was talking about his experience, risking everything, taking an RV trip around the entire. US promoting his book and selling his book. He even went to LA, talked to producers, talked to people about making this a TV show. And I was like, man, dude, this guy is stepping out of his boundaries in himself and going to create something that he loves doing himself, but also is gonna help like kids just like follow some like follow something that they can relate to. So we were talking about here how the guy's a detective and he, how he likes that whole Scooby-Doo thing. I was like, man, that really hits home because I'm like, when I see these shows, I'm like, oh, I relate to this guy. I relate to that guy. And that's where I want, I feel like I want to be with you guys is where I can relate with you guys or uh, vice versa where you, I can relate with you guys. Now, this is where, how do I relate with you guys? Like, I want you guys to comment and tell me things about these videos. I don't want you to just watch it and go away. I want you to talk to me about like, oh, you should have done this. I didn't like this because I like constructive criticism myself. Now, if you don't have anything nice to say without anything to back it up and, and like say, hey, you should do this because I believe blah. I was like, okay, well, something I'd like something where I can build, go back and forth and try to build something out of it or say why I did this rather than do that. I kind of opened up that curtain just so I can add more light in here. The WB VLOG 2018. So that's what I have for you today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.